hello everyone welcome to excel problem solving series now into this particular video this is kind of a tricky problem which i have and i'll be solving this particular problem now this particular problem i had faced a lot of many times into the real interviews the interviewer they are kind of they wanted to check whether i was knowing the usability or how does this particular function it exactly work this particular problem is onto the vlookup function so tell me ashtosh i know exactly how does vlookup function works but friends this particular problem is quite tricky and a exception is there so you, you can see let us move to the problem you can see into the column one i have the name into the column two i have the month and into the column three i have the salary so for example dave into the jan month the salary was 35 morgan into the feb month the salary is 471 and similarly you can see for each of the employee they are getting salaries into multiple months you can see dave has got salary in january dave have got salary into february let us see what is the problem it is saying so you can see i have a name column i have the month column i have a salary column and i want to get the salary of each of the employees now it is very much simple using the vlookup function so i'll just provide or do the vlookup function and i'll provide a lookup value my table array you can see i'll just mention this and which is the salary column it is the third column and zero i would do one more thing i'll fix the table range i'll hit enter and you can see i've got the answer so friends here is a catch so you can see for the employee name is doug into the january month he has got 389 salary amount and this is pretty much correct the employee name as dave into the first march the salary is 385 let us cross verify if it is so so you can see dave for the march month the salary is 460 and this particular answer is incorrect so i would just color this so here i should have gotten 460 instead of 385 let us check for morgan also morgan first april the salary is 460 and i have got 471 this is also incorrect answer which i am getting so i need to correct this but what is the value which i am exactly getting though it is throwing me an answer so i should check like what is exactly the value it is returning so if for the very first time into this particular table array whenever i am getting this particular employee name i am getting the salary so you can see dave is coming for the very first time into this particular row the seventh row so dave first and i am getting 385 value but i wanted the salary amount for the march month for dave but the salary amount it is throwing me for the january month similarly morgan first april 471 so morgan is coming for the very first time into the 11th row you can see here and the salary for the february month is mentioned which is the 471 so it is returning me the salary for the february month instead of the april month but the answer which i want is 460 for morgan for the april month you can see for the last row i want to get the answer so friends let us see how to do this particular problem and how to solve this particular problem so mandatory condition when we are solving this vlookup function with multiple values duplicate values into one of the column a mandatory condition or a trick which you can apply is formulating a additional column which can be called as a key column and into this particular key column you can just get a unique value for each of the row so friends how i can get a unique value so if i can just simply concatenate both of these columns i'll be getting a unique value for each of the row for example the employee name and i'll be getting the month employee name such as the brian january the salary is 313 so for each of the unique value for each of the row it will be assigned a unique the salary value so let us concatenate this and i'll be making a key column here using concatenating the first and the second column so you can see a key has been made and this particular key is unique for each of the you can say for each of the row into this particular table so similarly to this i need to make a key column though it is made from before using the vlookup function 
but i would just simply delete this and here i'll make a key column so i'll just write here key and i would do this similar operation so this would be the name and month control d so you can see i've got the key answer for for each of the row and a key has been created a unique key a unique value has been created for each of the row Let's get the salary value for each of the employees so i would just do a v lookup now this time my lookup value would be the key and you can see i have got the key value so this would be my table array two zero and i would hit enter you can see i have got the correct answer so i would just do this i would fix this also that's a mandatory thing to do otherwise we would get some wrong results though we are not getting here because the formula is somehow getting adjusted but we should always fix the table ranges so friends you can see this time i'm getting the right answer so for morgan for a first april the salary is 460 i'm getting the correct answer using the unique key which i made so for day for first march i'm getting the 460 salary so friends the interviewers are quite interested in knowing like whether you are clearly understanding the vlookup function or not just learn for the sake of learning so that is why the interviewers they are keen on asking such kind of questions for the proper understanding of the formula and i hope you had found this video quite informational and useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye